golf tournament. Yeah. What is the measure of a good teacher? Well, in this internet age, it might well be a site called RateMyTeacher.com. The site is used by students across North America to rate their teachers. And as it turns out, one of the top ranked teachers on that site is a math teacher at Marinopolis College. Professor Jean-Francois Deland joins us now. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, so I was reading some of the comments on the site about you. Uh, one said, cares about students beyond the realm of derivatives, but we won't get into that one. But most of the others said, love him, amazing teacher, simply the best, easy to understand. Did it surprise you when, when you ranked so high like that? Uh, yes, considering it's, it's a North American survey that's taking place, definitely. But um, I, I guess that's not where my main concern lies. For me, uh, the classroom where I'm working is, is, is my environment and focusing on the 30 eyes or the 30 pair of eyes looking at me. You know, a, a lot of the students also mentioned humor. And they said, oh, he's so funny. And is that a key, do you think, in, in making? Because a lot of people think, don't have great memories of their math classes. Okay. <laughs> so does humor really help in, in your field? It's, it's certainly an icebreaker and a good excuse to get their attention. Uh, once the students have their, have, once you've capped, uh, once you have their attention, you can, you can teach them anything pretty much. Because you do say that. You say that, uh, that students really want to learn. We're seeing some shots of you in the classroom that we took of uh, <laughs> you yesterday. Uh, but you say that, that students really want to learn. So could it be argued that there aren't bad students but maybe bad teachers? I, I think there are great teachers, I think there are great students and then there's the whole spectrum in between. Uh, what's important is to give every student the chance to learn and to uh, not take for granted that they're going to be weaker. Uh, lately with the reform I think there's a prejudice against students and uh, many are saying that they're going to come in weaker. I think that's... Uh, that's well, it's interesting because Marinopolis did a study on that, right? Looking at how students will do coming out of this, this new reform system. And what are you finding so far? We, uh, the research we did actually tells us that they're going to be a bit weaker in algebra, but then again might be stronger in uh, problem solving. So now it's just a matter of us uh, adapting to that clientele. Uh, filling in the gaps of algebra if there are any and uh, just being positive about about the extra tools they have compared to past students. You know, um, my father is a mathematician and I know that a lot of people will say, oh, why do we need to learn math these days when you can just get a really good calculator and they'll do anything. But he would say that math is really important in teaching people how to think. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. It's, math is, is a purely logical uh, tool. And uh, if you can, uh, what I find fascinating about math is how you can translate real life situations into mathematics. How does a uh, production manager decide how many units he should be selling to maximize profits in his company? I mean, that's the management part is one thing, but the, the number crunching behind optimizing is another. Have students changed very much? I mean, you've been teaching for 13 years. Have you noticed a difference at all? Not really. Students come into school wanting to succeed for the most part. Uh, they're curious. Um, teachers change. Uh, I change. Uh, we get older. We uh, sometimes uh, perhaps think that we, uh, are, we've repeated the same thing over and over again, and, and it's true, but not to the same students. So uh, I think we have to come in with a you know, blank sheet. Remember that these are new students in front of us, and uh, remember what our goal is, which is to get them interested. Well, you obviously do. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you very much. I wish I had you when I was, when I was in session. Well, there's still some room <laughs> in, the, uh, in the classroom. Okay, thanks. Take another look at the weather forecast now, Lori. In addition to interesting teachers, I bet a lot of students are wishing that there was air conditioning.